The Milwaukee Fire Department relies on private ambulance companies to help cover 911 calls, but they are struggling to keep pace with rising demand. One of those companies is now ending its agreement with the city because of staffing problems. Well, the I team's Sean Gallagher learned a potential partnership between MFD and those private companies may help close the gap. The city of Milwaukee sets a response time standard for private ambulances. 99% of emergency calls need to be answered in under 13 minutes, but a report for the city's ambulance service board shows none of the private ambulance companies meet that standard. The heads of those companies say staffing is the biggest issue. While the Milwaukee Fire Department is trying to help, they will start training EMTs right here. A lot of the people that are going through the program are not ending up in the back of an ambulance. We need to get more people interested and working in EMS. Private ambulance companies handle non-life-threatening 911 calls in the city of Milwaukee, so the Milwaukee Fire Department paramedics can handle life and death cases. But it's the private system on life support, as fewer EMTs are becoming available for hire. We're seeing increased competition for those personnel from local emergency rooms who want to hire them as ER staff or large employers such as, as uh, say, Amazon, for example. They tell us a big problem is how the private ambulance companies are funded, losing hundreds of dollars a call when the patient is insured by Medicaid or Medicare. With no changes to that funding in years, the Milwaukee Fire Department is trying to fill the pool of potential EMT candidates. To work with the remaining providers um, to make sure that really we've created that pathway straight from education all the way through employment. Assistant Chief Joshua Parrish says they're trying to engage with people as young as high school seniors to encourage them to consider EMS as a career. The fire department would train them and make them available to the private ambulance companies. One thing Milwaukee Fire is really good at is training EMTs. They do it quickly and they do it efficiently and successfully. It opens up a chance to diversify the EMT field in the city as well, something Chris Anderson of Bell Ambulance says is needed in the industry. If you call 911, you're inviting these strangers into your home. Uh, you're trusting that they're going to take care of you uh, in what might be the worst day you've had in your life thus far. For many in the city, 911 may be their only interaction with the health care system. If their sons and daughters become EMTs, Parrish says it may lead to a more medically literate population. We speak peopleese, um, so there's a growing, um, you know, there's a growing need for like um, what are called like you know allied health professionals to basically translate a monitor, translate like medical high speak into you know really the language that people speak every day to talk to them about their diabetes, talk to them about their hypertension. Meaning more EMTs and ambulances, fewer 911 calls, and overall a healthier city. Another idea to help private ambulances is alternative transportation for people who call 911 but don't necessarily need to go to an emergency room. It's one of many ideas being considered, and fire department leaders say they will have to vet any of these changes, and it could take five years or more before they're implemented. Reporting for the I-Team in Milwaukee, I'm Sean Gallagher. The I-Team has followed the ambulance shortage extensively. As the city prepares to lose one of the three private 911 providers, you can catch up on all their work. Just go look for these stories at TMJ4.com slash iTeam.